How did you feel when you heard about the shooting, the bus shooting? I was afraid. I was terrified um, for Wayne. Of course, I'm terrified. I'm just terrified that something's gonna happen to him. You know, and so that's why, I mean, I made a point um, for him to get the message that if he needed me, he could call me. Like, for real. Like, no matter what's going on, I don't want nothing to happen to you. you know, ever. Like, ever. Ever. So, um, it, it terrified me. It still terrifies me. You know Wayne very well. You also know Baby. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Mm -hmm. When you heard about the rumors about Baby somehow being involved in the shooting, and I think it recently came out, the guy who did the shooting feels that Baby should be charged as well. I don't know if you heard about that. Mm -hmm. That was recently announced. From your point of view, from the outside looking in without any evidence or whatever else, do you feel that that could possibly be true at all? Gosh, that, that baby ordered some sort of hit to take out Wayne and all that. You know... Because baby actually, you know, he denied it. Angie Martinez interviewed mm -hmm. baby and asked him point blank about that. He clearly denied it. Yeah. But from your point of view, knowing, knowing their relationship. Listen, I know Baby in a completely different way, you know. Um, I've never seen Tough Guy Baby, hmm. ever. I've never seen that person. Um, the Baby I've always seen has been and was and always has been to me very sweet, very humble, Oh, maybe that's the wrong word. Very <laughs> the number um, one center. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's the right word. Um, but very polite. He's very yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You know, very southern, very New Orleans. And I've never had, I've never seen that side of him. What I know for sure is that um, this is more than business. This is personal. You know, and. It's not like a regular business deal. I don't know whether I don't know who signed what contract in blood. I don't know what happened, but it seems like somebody sold their soul to the devil. And it's different than any other business deal that we've probably ever seen. You know, a contract is a contract, but you can get out of a contract. I mean, yeah. really. We all know that anyone who's ever signed any deal knows there's a way out of every deal, yeah. um, no matter how big. Uh, and the fact that this. Um, this particular deal is just so hard to get out of. It's just, what did you sign it with? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, was the devil present when you did it? <laughs> did you, I mean, is there a firstborn that was given up? Is this, what, what don't we know? I think there is secrets involved. I think there's um, things that people don't want to get out. I, I think there's just a lot more than business involved. And when things are this personal, they get very dangerous with some people. Well, I think with anybody. I think there's just different levels of danger. Yeah. You know, um, so it, it concerns me knowing how personal this is. Being around Wayne so much, do you feel that Wayne and Baby have a father-son type relationship? Or is that just kind of played up a little bit? I think that there is a father-son relationship. I think it's kind of like how a, a, a pimp would want you to call him daddy. Oh. I think it's very psychological. I think it's deeper than that. I think it's very. Um, I think Baby is a great pimp. I think Baby understands psychology of the human being and how to make someone um, feel indebted to him forever. Hmm. I think that uh, I think Baby's super smart in that way, you know. But Hitler was also very smart in that way in convincing people that something wrong was very right. I think that um, some of the most dangerous people are very charismatic. Um, and we've seen that in history throughout time. I think psychology is a serious thing. Um, you know, the brain only reacts a, a certain number of ways. Everyone thinks they're so different. Everyone thinks they're so, so untouchable. And, but I always tell people that psychology is a study, which means that the brain can be studied, which tells us that it's not very variable that there's only a certain number of ways it works. That's mm -hmm. why it can be studied. I think once you figure out how a person or how people operate, it's very easy to manipulate and, and know what they're gonna do. If I do this, you're gonna do that. It's very simple. Um, I think Baby has mastered 
manipulation. I think a lot of us have mastered, I know I have, mastered the art of manipulation and the art of war and the art of power and all those things that it takes to be a shrewd business person and to get shit done. Um, that's also a very dangerous trait, however, um, because those of us who know how people operate um, can counterattack better than anybody else and, and make moves that you won't see coming. Baby's not stupid. Um, hmm, Wayne's not either. But I think Baby is um, a seasoned pro at this. Well, Baby is older. Yeah, Baby is older and um, and he started this thing, you know? He started it. Baby is 46. Baby is 46? 46 years old, born in 69. Christ! You know what? When I was hanging out with people, I didn't realize how old everybody was. <laughs> Cause now I'm 30, I'll be 37 in a couple of weeks. I didn't realize, I, I thought, I'm thinking everybody's my age, but baby's like, older. yeah, baby's almost 50. Almost 50. But yeah, I think he's, he, you know, and I use the word pimp in a way like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's how you break someone down. You gotta break them down and build them back up and then, and a pimp will always have you calling him daddy. I mean, that's just what he does. And it's just, it's that same kind of pimp hole mentality. Hmm. Well, I mean, a lot of people talk bad about baby, but if you take one step back, the level of success mm -hmm. that, that, that Birdman has had over the course of his career is unparalleled next to maybe Jay-Z. Hmm. If you think about how consistently he's been able to succeed in the music game, with essentially everybody leaving over and over again, mm -hmm. you know, everyone who people felt was the the reason why cash money exists left over and over again, and mm -hmm. yet he still managed to maintain a very high level of success the entire time. He maintained, baby maintained a high level of success because of Wayne. Everybody not, left. Not initially. Yeah, but as you said, everybody left. So obtaining and, and, and retaining are two different things. Wayne carried that label on his back all this time. And Baby has said it. He said it in the music, he said it in interviews that, you know, um, like, like Baby said in a song that, you know, Wayne had the game and the fame mastermind. I could start giving you lyrics. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a scholar when it comes to this group of people and the music. So Wayne, I mean, Baby has always said that. Wayne figured it out a long time ago. Um, and so he, when everyone left, for whatever reasons, personal, professional, and otherwise, um, you know, they hoisted this thing on top of Wayne's back and Wayne carried it. Carried, up, carried it up until Nikki and Drake came along. Mm -hmm. That's a long way to go. Now for that to be happening and for you to only be getting a very sh small amount of money per record, or you know, with Baby having the first 11 songs of the record or whatever it is, Wayne gave me the number some time ago and I forgot what it was, but it was some terrible number. Wait, so, so Wayne said what, sort of? When Wayne explained to me how it's set up, Baby gets most of the record. So for instance, this is only a for instance, let's say the album has 20 songs. Mm -hmm. 11 of those songs, for instance, belong to Baby. So in the way he put it to me, he was just ready to go because he wanted to, <laughs> he wanted to be number one more creative. He felt stifled and the business is lopsided. And it's like that for a lot of people. It's not just him, it's, it's like that if some of these new artists really understood their contracts, they would understand how lopsided their deals are. So, like a lot of artists, his, his, his deal is just lopsided. And that's how he expressed it to me. Um, so I had, I had always understood that. He said that to me probably in 2014. Okay. He wasn't happy with his deal. No, he's not happy. He, he was, when I spoke to him, he wasn't happy with any of it. And he's, and he's probably been unhappy for a very long time. Well, what about Nikki and Drake? No idea about Nikki and Drake. Are they signed to Wayne or are they signed to it's, Baby? It's, it's or? the same thing, isn't it? Because you're signed to Wayne, but Wayne signed to Baby. 
Well, but you could potentially have different companies. I mean, I, I have no idea how it's worked out. If you look, uh, you would have to look and see yeah. if you Wikipedia Drake, who's eating off of his albums. So you probably see Young Money than Cash Money. Right. Well, I know that. I know that that baby has a piece of everything. Drake. Yeah, and, like Baby said, Nikki, they're not. What, what did he say during the Angie Martinez? They're not going anywhere. And he said that with. <laughs> the way he said it, it was kind of scary. <laughs> I mean, he might as well have done this afterward. Like, it just seemed... <laughs> <The> hand rub. <laughs> he might as Playboy, well... Playboy, they ain't going nowhere, Playboy. <laughs> rub hands like Birdman. He might as well have done this and, and this. And it just seemed very, like, ominous. Like, you know, they're... Trust me. They ain't going nowhere. I'm like, you know. Versus other people who say, hey, listen, if you want to leave, you can go. He's not saying that. He's not saying that. He's like, well, but if he has a contract, then they aren't going anywhere. Unless that's not true. You can get out of any contract. Well, you you could buy your way out of a contract. Yeah. And they and they can afford to buy their way out of a normal contract. We don't know what kind of contract they have. What kind of contract does Wayne have? What what does this look like? How can we see it? This is. I'm telling you, it's in blood. I'm telling you, it's. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's written in human blood well I, I can tell you that that my lawyer uh brian kaplan has sued cash money at least three times that i know of really and that's just one lawyer this is not the world's biggest lawyer yeah. this is not you know the this is not johnny cochran <laughs> this is a regular new york lawyer that i know uh who i believe helped wendy day get her money mm. when she set up their deal and made them millionaires or made baby and slim millionaires uh he, he sued him over uh, playing skills, not getting paid for got money. Mm -hmm. He sued, I believe, for Jim Johnson for candy shop, and, mm -hmm. and I'm sure there's there's a few others that I'm not remembering. Mm -hmm. But but this is just one one lawyer that has consistently sued Baby over and over. I know that uh, Turk mm -hmm. uh, just worked out some details over his lawsuit with Baby. That granted, in when you get to a certain level of business, you get sued. I've gone yes. through, you know, I've gone through people trying to sue me as well. I understand, but the number of lawsuits with cash money just seems abnormally high. Yes, I agree. I mean, there's something, there's something fishy in the state of Denmark. There's something very, where well, there's smoke, there's fire. Um, I just really just want, you know, Wayne to be able to leave alive and in peace. I think everyone deserves artistic freedom. You know, and I don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. And if somebody didn't, if, somebody did, if someone didn't want to be with me that badly, I would just have to let them go because I don't need the headache. You know, so, but again, it's personal. It's not business. Did you hear about the drink throwing incident? Oh, uh, yeah, when Wayne was on stage and support, allegedly, allegedly, baby threw a drink. I thought that was cute. It's very scratch your eyes out, <laughs> very. You know, it's like a girl fight almost. Very girl fight. Oh, drink at you. <laughs> it's very girl <laughs> fight. It was super cute. You know, emotions, man. I mean, people are emotional and, you know, again, personal, man. It's very personal. And who knows why it's this personal? I mean, of course, they've known each other forever, but I just feel like there's something else. You know, something, something very sadistic and strange about it. How did you feel about the whole kissing thing? When Baby and Wayne kiss? Yeah. There was the photo that came out. There was also a video on uh, the rap ba on the BT's uh, rap basement, mm -hmm. where baby goes around kissing everyone. And I talked to, to Turk about it in the mouth. I talked to Turk about it. He said, "Yeah, that was something. It was like a mafia thing, you know." He he, you know, he said it wasn't a a romantic thing at all, but he said this was something that was done during that time. Oh my God, the mafia, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a mother of a man, okay? Nobody kisses my baby in the mouth but me. I don't even want his father kissing him in the mouth. Don't kiss my baby in the mouth. I'm honestly, listen, to each his own. To each his own. I, I've never seen, I don't think the mom, listen. Listen, I, I would have to call someone in the mafia to verify this, but I just believe <laughs> they do a little, a little cheek, 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 and then get it over with, or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But no one there is in the mafia, okay? Um, 
listen, I don't want anybody kissing my baby in the mouth. Baby, I remember did, did an interview with uh, in the UK, and he was asked about that, and he said, "That's my son. I love him. You know, I kill for him. I die for him." So I'm gonna kiss him in the mouth. Kiss him in the mouth. And they're like lingering, like wet kisses, though. Like everyone licks their lips before they kiss each other. It's not even like a. Like Do a, they? I don't know. It just seems very. <laughs> It just seems very personal. Like, we've seen mafia kisses. We've seen them. Even when Fredo was about to get killed, right. and there was that lingering kiss, it was still a very hard, yeah. like, <laughs> oh, you're dead to me. <laughs> These kisses are soft and wet. <laughs> right. Listen, I, I personally don't want to see two men who are not homosexual kissing each other in the mouth. Um, if you are homosexual, continue to kiss, your, kiss each other in the mouth. I think it works out great for homosexuals. But I personally don't want to see that in that way, especially when it's a, a tribal thing. I don't want to see one guy going around kissing all of the men he's associated with in the mouth and then them telling me it's a it's it's just i just don't want to see that now if you guys are homosexual it makes complete sense to me but other than that um i don't find that i don't find i don't find that attractive at all and i find it very questionable and just very strange to me again i'm raising a young man my son is not a homosexual man thus far as far as we know, I've been checking his porn on his history on his computer, and so far it's all straight porn. So, <laughs> but I don't want anyone kissing my son on the mouth. It's too strange for me. Relatives, your father, I don't want any man kissing my son on the mouth. But that's how I feel. Right. So if baby leaned in to kiss your son, you would. No, dude, that. first of all, baby's getting nowhere near my son, okay? Let's, okay. Just, let's just not even pretend. Let's not even go that far. That's just not, now, you know what? You had one job, Vlad. Don't go too far. That's all. You had one job, okay? okay? You took it too damn far. Shock value. That's what I do. <laughs>